Alright, so we're checking out the only game where everyone has become so stupid that you have to make all their decisions for them. It's Dumbocalypse. More mental deterioration, damn it. In Dumbocalypse, you play a young man who has been hired to make relatively simple decisions for the entire planet because everyone is too stupid now to do anything on their own. Effectively, it's the apocalypse across the entire planet, but instead of like zombies, everyone's IQ Bruh. is now zero. Depending on what you choose for people, it will change the planet and possibly cause mass extinction. I would say that we're just gonna go and pick all of the stupidest answers, but honestly, I don't think that there's going to be any right answers for any of this. I do want a goal in this game. Mass extinction sounds like a good one since it was mentioned in the description. Supposedly, there's a bunch of ways to just destroy the entire planet with the people's stupidity, and goddammit, we're gonna try and find them all. There's a population amount, let's see if we can get this as low as possible. Should I visit my family? Nobody misses you! A good man should. Yeah, let's forget that this was ever there. It says that everyone on the planet is ridiculously stupid, but I'm kind of curious if they can at least still feel emotional neglect. That worked. Man posts photo of him having fun alone with caption, who needs a family when you have cash? Apparently there's articles after every choice you make. Nicotin. Wait a second. Logged in as Hugh Blewett. Apparently we're getting all punny up in here. Why does it look like his head is popping out of a top hat? Like normally you'd pull a rabbit out, but instead we get a random dude wearing shades. I've been waiting to propose this girl. Should I? It depends. Will it bring you happiness? If the answer is yes, then no. Guy found dead in an alley with a ring in his pocket. Okay, I didn't know that this would lead to murder. See guys, don't string your girlfriend along forever, otherwise you're gonna get shanked in an alley. Can you do it asks, what is the shape of the earth? It really doesn't matter because I don't think that anyone's smart enough to get involved with geography. That said, we've been getting the negatives for the population, so I'm gonna go with flat. Damn it! Earth is flat. Corpses of some famous medieval scientists die in embarrassment. Straight up, we've reached a new, a new level. When you cause people that are already dead to die again in embarrassment, you have won. We're reaching new levels of failure that most people didn't know existed at this point. Barbie doll, someone is knocking at the door. Should I open it? Part of me is wondering, like people send in these questions and you have to answer it for them. Like what are they doing while you're answering this? Is this guy just sitting there like listening to the door? I can only hope this is a murderer outside. Yep, I think it was. Man uh? invites a serial killer in the house, said he had great moments before dying. I just realized that everything about this game is fantastically screwed up because the real question is, how did he give the interview to say that he had great moments before he died when he's dead? We got karaoke here. Should I put pineapple on pizza? Yes, totally. No, you sick bastard. I like how we've gone from like, yes and no, to like, yes you should, and no, you should actually question your reason for living. I have to pick this just because it's amazing. A decade has passed and no new flavors have been introduced. Has pizza become boring? Now the problem is pineapple has too many vitamins in it. We can't have the populace spontaneously growing brain cells. What is love? Well, if you ask the guy who didn't propose to his girlfriend, it's the thing that leads to murder. Ask Jim Carrey, what the hell? That did not do well for the population. Man arrested for harassing a celebrity says he was only asking, what is love? Only fans of Hadaway and Night at the Roxbury will understand this. There is an electric wire causing a fire in the house. Be on the wire. <laughs> call the fire department. <laughs> How can I pass up the opportunity to cause horrifying urethral trauma? I never thought I'd say that in a YouTube video. Ah! Do it. <laughs> Neighborhood burnt down in a fire. People saw a weirdo peeing on an electric wire. This is fine, but I want to know what happened to the guy that did the urination. I just realized you can drink this coffee. Young man leisurely drinks coffee among all this chaos. I gotta start killing some people because the news is getting so desperate for articles that they're actually making one about me. I have been shoved in this huge thing and there are lots of buttons and gauges. What should I do? I feel really bad because when I first started reading the sentence, the first thing I thought it was a coffin and then I saw buttons and gauges, so I'm guessing it's a rocket. Press all the buttons. Worst case scenario, you die. Best case scenario, you die and kill someone else. Pilot takes off the plane with no idea what to do next. 
hundreds of passengers' lives are in danger. I didn't know it was a passenger plane. This just got even better. My computer is going all om nom nom nom. What should I do? How did you manage to make this happen? I mean, I guess press enter. Whole new alien species comes to inhabit the planet. People visited with welcome gifts. Honestly, the aliens probably didn't stay very long. They probably saw the populace and was like, oh, hell no, something around here is killing people's brains. This is Mr. Pilot from Flight ABC123. How can I land this thing? Mash the buttons, pull the landing gear. Both of these sound like terrible options, but I'm gonna go with mash the buttons. Plane lands safely after pilot pressed a series of buttons. Who knew landing the plane was this critical? What the hell? How did he manage this? Should I go to work? No. I want to keep everyone as unproductive as possible. Man found eternal happiness in not going to work. Says he has no idea what he'll do in his free time. No one has any damn ambitions. How am I supposed to kill everyone when everyone just wants to do nothing? Life on Mars. If I say it's possible, will you try and go up there? Yes, you will. Tons of spacecraft travel to Mars in hopes of colonizing died in seconds when their cardboard spaceships fell from buildings. I don't even understand what the hell this article means. The main thing I'm going to concentrate on is died in seconds. Okay, so there is this person in front of me lying with his organs out. What should I do? Stitch him or explore? Explore what? Like explore his internal organs? What are you gonna like use his intestines as garland for Christmas? I have to click on this. Man died during critical heart surgery was a surgeon. Doctor says he was exploring the opportunity to learn something. It's true, the surgeon was using this dude's entrails as like a lasso or something. Should I continue playing the stupid game? Yes and yes. I guess I'll pick the red yes. Hopeless attempt to break free from stupid game ends in vain. There is a thing in front of me written bomb on it with two wires, red and blue. Which one should I cut? Well, they always say red, you're dead. Damn it. There is a button on my desk that says fire. What should I do? Press it. In fact, if you can press it more than once, do so. An unknown nuclear head drops, engulfs an entire city. Lots of people died and many are missing. I think we're still on moderate population. What do I have to do to kill everyone? People don't know how to do like their job anymore, but God damn it, they know how to breed. My toast is stuck in the toaster. Should I use a fork? You know, some of these questions just answer themselves. Absolutely. Man died in an electric shock incident. Corpse found with a fork in hand. I'm kind of curious that the only article written about me was just how I was drinking coffee and not how I'm leading tons of people to their death. They say the earth is more polluted than ever. Should I do anything about it? Plant trees, stop breathing. You know, this is uh, it's actually a good idea because if everyone stops breathing, they won't use up the oxygen. Man turns his head blue by not breathing, says his lungs will live longer. I don't think that that's true, but thanks to him for prolonging the earth. Real quick, I just have to share this news article with you guys. Uh, it says, boy accidentally takes a pill that is used to kill rats. No sign of any harm, but boy grew mustache at the age of five. Rodents rejoice. This entire article just gave me an aneurysm. We've got the population down to dangerously low. I'm so happy. The population's going extinct. We're doing it. I just got asked whether or not people should eat candy or broccoli? I said candy. So it says kids eat candy all the time. Feel happy and diabetic. I think we got it. Six year old kid defused a bomb. Wants to make bombs for the rest of his life. He said in an interview, it was a six year old asking me how to defuse a bomb. I chose red last time. So I chose blue this time. And I think we managed to destroy the entire planet. People including this news editor have gone crazy. You helped people by answering their questions the best you could. However, it seemed you made them too much happy. People went crazy as they never witnessed this level of happiness and the whole earth has become unstable. On the plus side, no one has to worry about asking any dumb questions anymore because everybody's dead. So wait, if you can make the population go extinct, can you like make the entire planet overcrowded? Does everyone still die then? Hold on, I'm picking all the opposite answers. I wanna know what the hell happens when we go completely in the other direction. I feel dirty for doing this. But Barry Cade, you don't get to get electrocuted to death today. Man eats a burnt toast. Says he will never eat any other toast from now on. To be fair, after what happened the last time, the guy's probably just lucky that he has toast to eat. Okay, so this is the exploration organ man. I guess I'll have him save a life. 
Maine barely makes out alive. Thanks the doctor for timely surgery. I appreciate as well that Google Translate is basically doing the articles for the news. The last time we didn't propose to the girl, we were found dead with a ring in our pocket. What happens when you legit propose? Guy banned for proposing to AI. Says he fell in love with the voice. What the hell killed our guy the last time? What did like Skynet get pissed off because we were like a cheating bastard or something? You know it's bad when Siri has been waiting for you for so long to put a ring on it that she kills you. Okay, things are going fantastic so far. Right now the people are going crazy. This is the overall mentality that has spread across the entire planet. I don't actually remember what I said the shape of the earth was. I have a feeling though that if I say it's flat, people will be more happy. So let's go with that. God damn it. Okay, we're going, we're now from going crazy to legitimately just crazy. The earth population goes extinct. Yet someone was able to write this news. And this brings you to the most feared event in human history, extinction. The Earth is now the largest graveyard in the entire universe. With not a single person to haunt, the ghosts have also left her. Everyone is calling it the apocalypse, but no one is left to laugh at all these lame puns. So I've destroyed the population. I've made everyone go crazy. So what happens if you take the population and you go all the way up? Okay, I've managed to get the population to cramped. It's a pain in the ass because everyone loves to die. So I couldn't get people overpopulated, but I got them so depressed instead of so happy that now the news article is, my life is meaningless, says the news editor before giving up on breathing. The planet turned blue not because it's covered with water, but because of the sadness of its inhabitants. People became sad and depressed beyond repair and died eventually due to lack of motivation to live. Well, we did it. Between just depression or an overwhelming lack of population, we managed to end the world repeatedly, thanks to people not having the intelligence to stop us. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Democalypse. Till the next episode, stay foxy and much love.